And let me tell you another source <clears throat> of sulfur dioxide, excuse me, is from smelting. So we get sulfur dioxide from coal-fired power plants. We do not get sulfur dioxide as a pollutant from cars because there's not a lot of sulfur in gasoline. Um, there's sulfur in coal, but not in gasoline. But another source of sulfur is from the mining in industry. Um, and so what happens is, is <clears throat> for example, this, um, you know, we mine for other minerals, um, for ex and, and most elements are not found in nature in their pure elemental form. For example, silver. Silver is a metal that we have to go mining for, and it's, you don't just dig in the ground and find big chunks of pure silver. Instead, silver is often found combined with sulf uh, sulfide in the form of silver sulfide. And, um, and the way we produce or get the silver pure is a silver sulfide is heated with oxygen to produce silver and silver dioxide. So that's another source of silver dioxide. And in this question, they're asking you, given these words, can you write down this balanced chemical equation? This one's done for you. Silver sulfide, they even gave you the formula, when it's um, heated with oxygen to form silver and sulfur dioxide, you ought to be able to write that out and balance it. Here's another one for you to try. Co copper sulfide is heated with oxygen to produce copper and sulfur dioxide. So again, copper isn't normally found in the ground, just as big chunks of pure copper, but rather it's a mineral. Um, it's found in rocks in the form of a mineral, copper sulfide, and once it's found, it has to be purified, and that's called smelting. Um, and you end up as sulfur dioxide as a byproduct in, in that case as well. So there's other ways, I just want you to know, that these pollutants get into the air. I'm telling you about the dominant ways, cars and coal-fired power plants, but there are other industries that also form these um, pollutants and release them into the environment. Okay, so you can practice this other one on your own. But this is the kind of thing that I want you, I'm kind of expecting you to be able to do at this point. We've reviewed naming compounds, we've reviewed balancing, equations. Now what we're doing is we're understanding the world around ourselves uh, on a deeper level to understand, gee whiz, where do these pollutants come from? Okay, it's human activity. What types of human activity? Just basic, you know, purification and uh, burning gives us these uh, pollutants. So what, you know, we all like to wear silver jewelry and we like to have copper, um, you know, um, in our pipes and whatnot, but everything comes with price. And so we have to be mindful of that.